What's up, YouTube? It's Professor Royal Oak here. We are streaming live on Twitch. We got a few people hanging out in the chat with us. We got Ten. We got Gary Destructo, aka Nick, hanging out with us today. We're about to do episode four of our Crystal Clear Nuzlocke. We just beat Erica in the last episode. Uh, it was a total sweep. We uh, we threw out Smoochie and we clicked Powder Snow. Simple as that. So based on that, I feel like we're gonna tackle a few gyms today because I feel like we're over leveled. So we could probably take a few gyms on, especially based on the mons we have. And then I have a few other things planned. So I think our uh, our first plan is to try and go and get another rod. And then uh, we're gonna get a few more encounters. We're gonna do some fishing today and then take on some gym leaders. So that's the plan. I did a little bit of training this morning before the stream. So I am going to just cut to that save state right after this. We just beat the gym. So the Pokemon League here is gonna give us a call and let us know what's up. Hello, this is the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations on completing another gym challenge. We've updated your account to reflect your new badge. This is my third badge. You currently have three badges. There we go. To help alleviate traffic on Cycling Road, we ask that skilled trainers use their Pokemon to fly. Oh, sick, so we can get fly now. I think that's real close too, so we'll grab that right away. This also goes for boat traffic going to Cyanwood City, so we can also take a ferry to Cyanwood City. There's a new ferry system in this game, so we can just like hop back and forth between regions. The Pokemon League is grateful for your support. Trainer tips, meet with the event move tutor and golden Ar Yeah, we already did that. We did that last episode, so why are you telling me? Thank you and have a good day. Okay, sick. So uh, we're gonna go get fly. We're gonna do everything I just said. So I'll cut to anything that happens here. Nice, that looks better. Okay, let's roll. I think we can get an Eevee in Celadon City. So that might possibly be worth right now. That'd be really sick. So I'm actually gonna see if we can get an Eevee right now in Celadon. If not, uh, no worries. We're gonna actually box them on and see if we can get that Eevee real quick. Let's go to the top here. You know, I gotta love the tops of the buildings, how, like, <laughs> all they did, like, I mean, it's not a big deal, but, like, literally all they did is, like, yo, it's so tall. It's just a blue, it's just a blue, I don't know. It's... Game Boy graphics, you know? Game Boy graphics. Oak received Eevee! Okay, awesome, we got Eevee! Uh, we're not gonna soft reset. Henry says, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> Henry, I am so sorry, but we nicknamed the very first Pokemon I got in this playthrough our Hound Hour. I nicknamed him after you. I nicknamed him Henry, and he went down in the second episode, and I was so upset, and I went and tried to get another Hound Hour, and we ended up getting Murkrow, so it is what it is. But we've got an Eevee here, so... We'll nickname this Eevee after you. You know what, we're gonna resurrect the Henry name for this Eevee. Armagordon, howdy howdy. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it, top of the morning to ya. We're gonna welcome Henry to the team. It's so funny um, watching these videos after the fact. I feel like, you know, like I know all the names of the Pokemon, but then sometimes I'm like, Kakuna evolved into Metapod. And then I'm watching the video after and I'm like, what am I saying? Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Caterpie, not a Kakuna. Uh, oh well, it's kind of funny. Um, okay, so next up, now that we have Henry, I want to get a rod. And I'm pretty sure I can get a rod uh, way over on the other side here. So I'm going to skip to that. Uh, okay, it looks like there's a biker gang here. Oh, I totally forgot to get Fly. Let's grab that real quick. didn't mean to run into this Grimer here. This was a patch of grass that I looked up that I wanted to get an encounter on. I wanted to get a different encounter and so I was planning on getting Grimer somewhere else so I could get the other encounter, but I guess we get Grimer. <laughs> I guess we just get Grimer. I'm gonna chuck a great ball at it. We'll go into static because he resists the point. <sighs> Grimer flood. We just failed that encounter. Okay, you know what? That's super crummy. I really wanted to get a different mon there. That's okay. Oh well, here we go. We get fly. It's all right. We have, the, because this game is so open, we have so many different encounters we can get, so it's okay. We have fly now. We can fly wherever we want and get whatever encounter we want. Not a big deal. 
Let's fly on Hannah to Lavender Town. I'm pretty sure we can head to Lavender Town. Let's keep rolling. Let's see Let's see if we can find that rod. You know that rod was kind of integral to what I was gonna do and that like encounter kind of ruins it, that's okay. Here we are at the fishing guru's hut. Let's talk to him and see what he has to say. Ahoy there, do you like to fish? You do, I knew it. I'll let you have this then. And we're gonna get the good rod. Okay, so finally we can catch a water Pokemon other than a Magikarp. Does this have a hidden item? No, okay. Grullo Gorge. So this is a new area. This is a completely new area. This, like, this isn't in the original games. This is like a new custom area. So we get a new encounter here and it's probably gonna be like something crazy cause like they put like different types of like Pokemon obviously in these areas here. And like, it looks like there's a cave here as well. Um, oh, looks like Henry ate something. Open its mouth. Henry, what do you got in your mouth? Your Pokemon pulled garbage out of its mouth. I guess Henry's just cleaning Grillo Gorge up. You know, that's, that, that's Henry just doing doing the best he can. So I think we get two encounters here. I think we're gonna let us have two, let ourselves have a two encounters. I'm gonna lead with static, I think. And we're gonna pop into the grass here and see what our encounter is and just hope for the best. I'm a little worried that it's gonna be something over leveled, but uh, we'll just hope for the best here. All right, and our encounter is going to be an Ekans. You know what? I'm actually I'm actually okay with that. Level 15 too, so that's perfect. And we got static in the front with the poison resist. Nice, and we caught Ekans. I already have a name picked out for this one. Um, I've been listening to an audiobook, and he's been talking a lot about Harry Potter in the audiobook, and he mentioned Basilisk, so we're gonna go with the nickname Basilisk for this Ekans. It flutters the tip of its tongue to seek out the scent of prey, then swallows the prey whole. We're gonna roll with Basilisk, the Ekans. I think that's a great name, shout out to Harry Potter. And that being said, I think we're gonna roll into the cave and just see what's in the cave as well. Seeing as how Ekans was level 15, I'm gonna roll into the cave here. All right, and here's our encounter. An Ekans. Another Ekans. Is there a hidden item here? Oh, we have another encounter here. Is it another Ekans? It's a Ponyta. That's great. I need a fire type. That's awesome. We'll start throwing balls. Throw some Pokeballs, see what happens. Let's go, we get the Ponyta. Gonna add another fire type to our team. Ponyta, the fire horse Pokemon. Training by jumping over grass that grows longer every day has made it a world-class jumper. Yo, who's not who's not mowing the grass? So this Ponyta has gotta jump over the grass like that. Come on, mow your grass. What's our nickname for Ponyta? Okay, since we have so many people in the stream, uh, I would definitely want to like give out some nicknames. So, um, so Tennessee, uh, please, I would love for you to give us a nickname for our Ponyta here. What do you think, Rain? You guys see Rain back there? Rain's been chilling, hanging out with us the last couple days. She likes this. Uh, she likes this Pokemon blanket. So she's been hanging out with us. Uh, so do we have a nickname here? Sea Biscuit. I like that. Sea Biscuit. Okay, so we got Sea Biscuit. Sea Biscuit, the Ponyta. Uh, I'm gonna explore a little bit here just to see if we find any items or anything. So I guess we'll explore the uh, the cave a little bit. Okay, we got the Pokeballs and we're gonna keep rolling. And we're now we're on Route 8. Oh, we're right next to Lavender Town. That's so cool. That's so cool. So they just put, they just popped a little cave in there and they just added a whole new area. I'm not gonna add them to the team at this point. We're gonna keep them boxed for now. And we're just gonna keep rolling through that cave. So I think there's a lot more to explore here. Okay, and we found an exit here. It looks like there's like some areas we could probably get to with surf. So we'll have to remember to check that later. Noakes Lab. We're at Noakes Lab. No one's here, just a book. A handwritten notebook. It seems that whoever lives here is studying Ekans. No kidding. It reads, Ekans 
is listed as a snake in the Pokedex. But what is a snake? I must research this further. That's funny. And I jump down this ledge here and it looks like I can't like go back up now, so. What is that? What is that? Is, is that a Pokemon? Is that a shiny Rapidash? Just chilling in the grass? I don't know if I want to encounter it yet. Cause like, what if it's like a level 40 Alpha Rapidash, Alpha Shiny Rapidash? I feel like I should leave it for now and come back to that in like another episode or like later today. Wow. Interesting. So we'll, we'll move on here. Um, I'll get an encounter on Route 6, cause like, why not? We'll see what we get. We get a Snubble, sick. I love Snubble. Okay, we need to nickname the Snubble. Um, hey, we caught the Snubble. What's up, Nugs? Appreciate you jumping in, man. How's it going? Grumpy, okay, we're gonna nickname this, uh, this mod Grumpy. Uh, Nugs, really appreciate you jumping in the stream, man. Thanks so much for, for hanging out with us. We got Snubble here, uh, the fairy Pokemon. In truth, it is a cowardly Pokemon. It something, I missed that, it grows in order to hide its fear from its opponents. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys heard that. This little dog's like, get me out of here. Okay, these all up the door. He is mad. I'm talking about uh, a bulldog over here. She's like, get me out. So we're gonna add uh, Grumpy to our PC, and then we're gonna go find a uh, Pokemon that Nugs can nickname. Well, I guess we'll find out what our encounter is gonna be. It's a Pidgey. We already have a Pidgey. It's a Pidgeotto. Same thing. Dupes. An Abra. Well, let's hope this thing goes in the ball. You only got one shot, one opportunity. Will you go for it or just let it slip? Yo. <laughs> Dude, what are you supposed to do about an Abra? Get out of here. Okay, well that was our encounter. We are here, I forget what route we were on, where we have a new encounter. It's gonna be a Magnemite, we already have a Magnemite. Our encounter is going to be another Magnemite. <laughs> I'm sure you got a few you can think of. Good doggos and big puppers. <laughs> a hopip. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. All right. Nugs, you're gonna be naming this uh, this hopip here. We'll throw a great ball at it. Hopefully, it doesn't run. We're gonna catch this hopip. You know, I don't mind Hoppip. I think it's a good mod. I mean, like, it's a cool mod. It's not a good mod, but it's a cool mod. It's not competitive, but maybe it could be. Maybe maybe we bring it to the Move Tutor and see what moves it can learn, and maybe it can be, like, a really, you know, sick mod that we can use later on, because I think it's actually got some really good special attack and speed and um, when it evolves. Anyways, Hoppip, the Cottonweed Pokemon. It can be carried away on even the gentlest breeze. It may even float all the way to the next town. Give a nickname to Hopip. Late in life, what up, young blood? Welcome to the streaming world. Yo, I really appreciate you for stopping by. Thanks so much, dude. We got Wispy, the Wisp Wispy the Hopip. I like it. Oh. <laughs> the second time I've done a nickname error. All right, late in life, start thinking of nicknames, cause we have a Tentacool. Tentamad. <laughs> We're gonna get this Tentacool here. Female Tentacool. Tentacool, the jellyfish Pokemon. Two feet tall, 100 pounds. Seems like a little bit of a heavy jellyfish. As it floats along the waves, it uses its toxic feelers to stab anything it touches. Robocop the Tentacool. Awesome. Okay, sick. So we've got a few encounters now. I know, right, Kip? Nine viewers. Like, we're blowing up. <laughs> we're blowing up. I have a followers bar up top now, too. Um, I figured out how to put the followers bar on the screen. I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring a few things out, which is nice. Um,
I'm the, I'm the person with the second most viewers in the Pokemon Crystal category? No way. That's awesome. Can you can you tell me how many people the other person has? I'm curious like how many how many people they got, you know, watching them. That's crazy. 156. Okay. <laughs> we're not we're not competing or anything. Now that I know I'm not going to beat them. Uh <laughs> But that's awesome. Look at us, look at us guys. Look at us gang. We're doing it, we're doing it. We're, uh, we're the second most viewed currently in the Pokemon Crystal category. That's so awesome. I'm so happy, what an accomplishment. I mean, it's a very minor accomplishment, but nonetheless. It's something. It's something. We accomplish something. I don't feel like I accomplished it on my own because obviously I could just sit here and not have anybody help me or watch me or whatever. So, I, you know, thanks everyone for coming in and, and making this uh, this day so awesome. This is already a great start to my day. I hope everyone else has like, you know, is having a great start to their day, hanging out with me, having as much fun as I am. Um, yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, so we're going to head to, we're going to head to Violet City and... We're gonna face Faulkner, the flying type gym leader. I feel like we have two really good mods for Faulkner and then we have a couple resists as well. So we're gonna just jump right into it. Let's go. First gym trainer challenge. Let me see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. I'm kind of curious myself, dude. Like what level, what level are you at? What level are we at? What level is everybody at? Birdkeeper Abe sent out a Firo at level 22. Oh, okay, so we're like right on point right now. We're right on point. We're not over leveled. Um, this is like right where we should be. So I'm gonna hit him with a Powder Snow. That does a good chunk of damage. That's, that's not great. Cause that, you know, one crit, one crit and that's it. But Smoochie out here is hitting people with the powder snow and freezing them solid. Yeah, Smoochie. We're gonna hit another powder snow and crit and knock out the Firo. Smoochie, Queen Smooch herself. And we're gonna get a level on Smoochie, level 24. Wow, Smoochie, what a boss. And then he's gonna send out Gligar. Um, I don't think... I don't think Gligar is going to do much to Smoochie, but I also just worry about the crit. So I'm gonna just play this super smart, quick attack. Um, we're gonna Nightshade, Poison Sting, I'm gonna fly. I know he's ground and flying, so that's not gonna do much. Okay, and we'll just pursue. And we're gonna knock out the Gligar. You know, it's so funny, I, I know now, you play it smart. You play it smart, like let's not leave Smoochie in. Let's just, uh, let's just play it smart. What a battle, okay. I'm excited for this gym. This is gonna be fun. I think we're right on level. I think it's gonna be just challenging enough. We're gonna have to do a little bit of swapping around. I'm actually going to make this a little bit more challenging for us. And I am gonna set this now to set style. How do I set it to set? Ask switch, no, there we go, okay. Battle animations on, ask switch, no. Okay guys. Guys and gals and non-binary pals, let's do this. Second gym trainer match, we're all healed up. We have set ourselves to set style to give ourselves a little bit more of a challenge. The keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! Like a Captain Falcon, come on! Bird Keeper Rod sent out Pidgeotto, level 16. What was with the level 22 that we just faced? Level 16, Smoochie knocks it out in one hit. Level 18, Smoochie knocks it out in one hit. Wow, okay, Bird Keeper Rod, why are you the one that's uh, right before Falconer? That doesn't make much sense to me, but okay. You know what, regardless, I think we swept there. I think we did pretty good with the other gym leader. I think we're right on point. All right, so we're here in Azalea Town. I think it's Azalea Town. Let me double check here. Violet City, good thing I checked. <laughs> We're here in Violet City, about to face Faulkner, the gym leader. I guess you obviously just saw the two gym battles before that probably, so here we go. Let's do it. We're leading with Magnemite. No, we're leading with Smoochie. Um, let's do it. Nothing else to it but to do it. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon gym leader. 
People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna face Faulkner, the flying type gym leader. Faulkner's got three Mons, and he's gonna send out Pidgeotto to start. Now Faulkner usually has two Mons, but because of the scaling of this game, now he's got three Mons, and he's gonna leave with a level 23 Pidgeotto. So we're not in a bad spot, but he is he is looking pretty tough. We're gonna hit him with a Powder Snow, and we're gonna see what the, this uh, Pidgeotto wants to do in return. Big damage from Smoochie. Pidgeotto's gonna hit us with a Gust. We are faster, so we should be able to knock out this Pidgeotto. Ooh, gets a crit. Doesn't knock us out though. Why didn't I think of that? Got the odd egg from the daycare center and we got Smoochie right down below. You see the new Smoochum on the team? We're leading Smoochie. Smoochie our starter, just running the show. One crit and that's it. But Smoochie out here is hitting people with the powder snow and freezing them solid. Queen Smooch herself. Oh man, I, I feel so crummy right now. <sighs> Nuzlocks are hard. I should have switched into Magnemite for that. That was my bad. Okay, you live and you learn. Wow, Smoochie goes down. Our fifth death of the playthrough. Almost a jinx, too. We almost had a jinx. <laughs> Kip, I'm so sorry. I didn't think Smoochie goes down, but Static, Static, you know, redeems Smoochie. Takes out the Pidgeotto. We're gonna face another Pidgeotto here. Pidgeotto's gonna double team. We're gonna hit it with a Thundershock. Just crit it, knock it out. And Falconer's gonna send out a Fero, level 25. The wind is finally flying high with us. Pharaoh's gonna double team. We're gonna miss the Thundershock. Pharaoh's gonna quick attack. We're gonna hit the Thundershock. Pharaoh's gonna quick attack. And the Thundershock is gonna knock him out. I am so salty about that death. I am so salty. I probably should have just been leading Magnemite, not taking any chances. You know, it's, it's so funny, like playing my first Nuzlocke. You just can't take chances. I finally found out. We're gonna get TM31, Mud Slap. In other words, it's both defensive and offenses. Wow. And we're gonna say goodbye to Smoochie, our fifth death of the playthrough. Wow. It's okay, we have a box full of mons. Oh, and the Pokemon League's calling. Hello, this is the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations on completing another gym challenge. We've updated your account to reflect your new badge. You currently have four badges. Congratulations! Collecting up to four badges earns, for, earns you the Skillful Trainer Classification. This is recognized at the TM shop at any department store. I never thought about checking the TM shop. I guess we should probably go there next. And for trainers who wish to expand their culture, we advocate a trip to Ecruteak City. Visit Tin Tower, one of Ecruteak's oldest tourist attractions. Have you ever found a rare fossil? The labs on New, S New Cinnabar Island will help trainers unlock a fossil's true potentials. Thank you and have a good day. Okay, so we have a few things to do uh, next. Um, we've already been recording for a while now. I think we're gonna wrap up this episode here and we're going to tackle another gym on the next episode. Wow, so we're gonna have to say goodbye to Smoochie. Um, that was it for this episode. I wanna thank everybody for jumping into this episode's stream. Thanks to everyone who watched on YouTube. Uh, that's it, okay, bye for now.